titles like this and this for free in iMovie. Whether you're trying to get started on YouTube or you just like to up-level your travel videos, stay tuned because I'll be showing you how you can do this without having to hire an expensive video editor or upgrade to a tool like Final Cut Pro or Adobe Premiere, both valid options, but they are quite expensive and do have quite the learning curve. Here's how you can up-level your videos while using the free tool, iMovie. Open your web browser and head to canva.com. I recommend if you're using a landscape video that you click on presentations. Canva is so easy to use and they give you lots of free photos and templates. Next part is simple, but it's where you need to get just a little bit creative. You can create any design you want, change the colors, change the font, and then download that design to use in iMovie. Essentially, all that we're going to be doing is creating any graphic, image, text, or title that you'd like, and then downloading it with a transparent background, and then applying it on top of any photos or video footage in iMovie. Once you've created your photo or graphic in Canva, you're going to want to download it as a transparent file so then you can overlay it on your video clips in iMovie. Now there are a couple ways to do this. One involves paying for Canva Premium. I believe at the time of filming this, it's $12.75 a month. So when you go to download, you'll see that the option to click transparent is grayed out unless you've already subscribed to Premium. I'm not using Premium, so here is a workaround. It takes an extra step, but it's going to get you a transparent file completely for free. Download your Canva file as a regular PNG or JPEG image and then upload it to the tool LunaPic. Once it's been uploaded to LunaPic, navigate to the function for transparent. Once it's been added here as transparent, you can see there are still some white blotches. So what you'll want to do is go to transparent color instead of transparent area. And click apply and download the image. You can now overlay it onto your videos. Once the image has been downloaded with a transparent background from LunaPic, you're going to open up iMovie find it in your finder, and then drag it over the photo or video clip that you'd like to show the, the graphic. If you don't want the image to be zooming in and out, then remove the Ken Burns and instead put the image to fit. If you want it to be in a certain area on the screen as opposed to right big in the middle, head over and put it as picture in picture. You can now drag it and put it anywhere on the screen that you would like as well as change the size. By taking this extra step to first create the graphic in Canva and then to download it and upload it to LunaPic, it's going to be completely free to add any of your creations to your videos in iMovie. Following a similar process, something else that you can do in iMovie is have graphics that move like this. It's very similar, you're going to create a graphic in Canva, create the transparent background through LunaPic. Once back in iMovie, you'll take Ken Burns off, put them to fit, switch it to picture in picture, and then move these clips to a very short duration, 0.5 of a second is usually what I would go for. Copy that graphic and then move things around slightly. You'll then put the clips side by side and duplicate them.
So copy, paste, copy, paste, so that they're recurring in a sequence back and forth, back and forth. It will look like the graphics are moving when really it's just two separate images all lined up at very short durations. Or you can create title transitions that move like this. All you have to do is create your graphic in Canva, duplicate it onto a second page, move some of the elements around slightly, download both of these images and then upload them to iMovie. Make each clip very short and then place them side by side and rotate back and forth. So it looks like the images are moving when really you're just using two separate files with different placement of graphics side by side quickly. An awesome tip with Canva is that they have all of these free templates. So whether you're trying to create graphics or titles, or even say just create a resume or a media kit or a business card, you can go and use these templates. They have premium ones, which are absolutely fantastic, but you have to pay every time that you go to download them. Or so I thought. You're not actually paying for the layout, the template, or the colors. All you're paying for are the premium images. So what you have to do is delete the image that comes with the template and either add your own or head to a website like Unsplash where you can pick through all of these different images and download and use them for free. Once it's been downloaded, upload it to Canva, add it to your template, and then download the premium template completely free. By using a free tool like Canva, you can create pretty much anything, download it for free, and then upload it to a tool like Lunapic, make the transparent background, and be able to add little text elements or photos like this and this, or full-on titles like this. That was a bit of a random video on my channel, but hopefully it will help you create travel videos as epic as the actual travel itself. That was super cheesy. And that is my cue to leave. I put out new videos every single week. Hope to catch you next week. Have a good one and happy travels. Bye.